Guys, I very rarely have I been speechless, but I don't have much of a reaction there. That was just such a journey. Like they look like, I thought they were like 15. They were like young kids. I just thought it was more like gonna be a one week together, then we broke up and then I, I, I had a glow up and then he found that I cheated. Like I was just not expecting that to end that way. So I'm gonna move on. <laughs> I didn't want my baby daddy going out with his friends no more cause I told him that they weren't really his friends. And he told me that they actually was so I his best friend and now they're not best friends and his best friend is dead i don't know if i was mentally prepared for this video <laughs> again maybe some of these are jokes maybe some of them are real i really don't know i certainly hope that that guy isn't dead because he slept with his best friends my baby daddy baby mama but again why would she even do that like does she not feel partially responsible for murder now <laughs> So I don't fully understand this. I, what I think happened is like he was singing to her and then he knew she was cheating so the cheater came out and they kept trying to sing but he was crying. That was actually kind of hard to watch. I don't know why. I just can't watch people cry. It makes me very upset. If you cry, I'm gonna cry. I just, I don't know, man. It's like, why cheat? Why do this to somebody? Why put someone through this emotional torture? Like I said, I've never been cheated on that I'm aware of. Maybe I have been and I just don't know it. I mean, I understand every situation is different, of course, but a lot of these situations are just like, they just do it because they're not happy and it's like, then just leave. My flight was a little bit too late. Oh, okay. How was Atlanta? It was good. Yeah, I got to see my aunt. Yeah, was your aunt fine? Yeah, she's good so, now. So what'd you do? What do you mean what I got? You went to see my aunt. I know you went to see your aunt, but what else you do? I went to see my aunt and I guess he had like a couple of family friends. This seems like nothing, huh? I'm in your city. Yeah, close friends, huh? So what's this? So Man. you're in a Lamborghini. Man, your friends are just toxic. You're just trying oh, to bring you're trying to bring so you're in a Lamborghini. You popping He's bottles in Atlanta. Problems all the time. Let me tell you. So why so I so what's think. this? So so what's this? This ain't you. You know what? Yes. Okay. Double R only. You ain't never been in a double R in your life. I feel like I feel like I shouldn't have seen that video. Now, obviously, the guy recorded it and uploaded it to the internet for a reason. But I feel like a fly on the wall when there's an argument, and I just should not have been in that room. I might watch it again in my own time just to kind of like really enjoy the uncomfortable feeling of like I shouldn't be listening but I'm gonna keep watching kind of thing. But it's almost like when you are hooking up with someone and you don't know that she's married and then you have to run in that closet and then they have a fight and then they end up making love. You don't want to stay but you're kind of into it. Excuse me, what? So I need everybody to push their way up to the curb, push their way up to the sidewalk. And we gonna keep this party going. Make sure that y'all push your way up so the traffic can roll through. And we gonna keep this going. I just hate this club culture of like just messy, making out, sloppiness. I don't like it. I feel like I'm wired differently though. I feel like I'm a very emotional man. For a male, I feel like I'm very emotional. So I feel like I don't see these things as most people would. Which, it's not a bad thing. I just cry myself to sleep every night. <laughs> you need to leave, Owen, you need to leave. I'm not leaving, Rachel. I don't give a damn what you're trying to say. I'm, I'm staying in this house. No, you ain't. Yes, I am. I'm staying in this house. I cheated on you. That shit's a big deal. It's time to get over wow. it. Not a big deal? Wow. Yeah, it's not a big deal. And wow. You're not, I'm not going to let you get with nobody else either. Like, that's, get that, away that's, from that, me, that, Owen. That shit happened. You ain't get getting with nobody else. Get away from me. You ain't get with nobody else. Oh, okay. Okay, here. okay. You need to leave. No, I'm staying here. Leave, I'm leave. leave. At the end of the day, like, maybe it's a bit extreme. You guys know each other. You had past history. But at some point when you're so hurt and the fact that he's trying to downplay it and he's like, I'm not going anywhere, you're not gonna be with anybody else. This is past the point of, of like a bad relationship. This is controlling manipulation. This is terrible. So this guy's gotta figure out his own issues because there's this is stemming from somewhere terrible and it's not it's never gonna lead to anywhere good for anybody. So Would you rather Okay, you can go first. Okay. Would you rather show your at a party in front of a bunch of guys? I already did that, it's not fair. <laughs> wow. 
Or would you rather f my boyfriend and tell me you're at Tiffany's house? Already did that too, probably, right? Turn it off. No. Turn it off. No. I'm serious. No, I already know. He told me, so. Told you what? He told me that you guys I already know. Well, the last thing that he told me was that you were just his f***ing side f Are you f***ing kidding me? Get the f*** out. No, get out. Are you serious get right now? Are you serious right now? Again, this is another situation where I feel like I shouldn't have watched this, but she, she filmed it for a reason. She wanted people to see. There's layers to it. The boyfriend hooks up with the girl's best friend, and the girl gets mad at her best friend, not the boyfriend. It's like, you realize the boyfriend's also at fault, right? It takes two to tango, as they say. So in a situation like that, especially when with a friend of yours, I would cut off both parties. I'd rather you steal from me than do that and lie to my face. It's like, don't piss on my back and tell me it's raining outside. You know what I mean? Hello? Hey, can, can we talk for a sec? Uh, yeah, I guess. What's up? Um, I know we've been through ups and downs, but I still really have feelings for you. <laughs> You're joking. No, what like... What am I just, am I just supposed to overlook the fact that you uh, f***ed my dad? F*** you. Do not. <laughs> I was expecting it to be like a... Like the girl on the phone was friends with the girl in the car and the girl in the car was dating the guy on the phone or something and, and then he was gonna be like, I have feelings for you too and the girl was gonna be like, I'm here too, uh -huh. asshole, I thought we were together. I was not expecting that. That was a huge turn of events and I'm here for it. I love that. Good for the dad though. I, I wonder what the dad said. Son, I'm sorry, she was just so hot. How did you do that to your own child? And as a father, why would you wanna be with, uh, whatever. I like, you ain't gonna do shit. And you saying that you won't work out and you want you not gonna go out and you go out in three days in a row? I hate you so much. I hate you so much. No, like, no, no. Please, I need to say some s please, I need to get so much. Please, just let me go. Please just let me go. Please I'll, I'll, I'll say I didn't like the fact that he was almost like going after her. I don't know if he was gonna hit her or not. It looked like maybe he was going to, and I did not like that at all. And I'm glad his friend was kind of there to hold him back, but like that just hurt, man. There's something about just seeing people genuinely crushed that just hurts so much. I'm a very empathetic person. I, I feel for people. Like when it's raining outside and I'm driving in my car, I legitimately have thoughts of like, I wish I had umbrellas that I could just give to people walking down the street. But then I realized, You'll actually be in a lot of debt going out and buying the umbrellas and giving them out for free. And in this world, you need money to live. You know, everything costs money. So rather than be a good person, just get rich. When you were young, you found out your husband had a girlfriend. Oh, yes. So you went and found out who she was, made friendly, friendly with her. And yeah. then what happened? Well, we went out drinking. Yeah. And I wasn't hardly drinking. I was just putting her to her good. And she was so drunk, she face went right down on her food, and that's where it stayed. I called him and told her, come and get your lady friend. Her face is in the food. So you got her so drunk she passed out on her food and then you called him? Yeah. He must I have been so shocked. To come and get her. <laughs> Grandma, you're what they call savage. I know, and I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is, that's just great. Your husband now knows that you know this girl has no idea. She's just gonna wake up a bad hangover and a, a whole mess to deal with, knowing that her her fling or whatever, the guy she was hooking up with, was you got what I, like do you see the layers to that? That is ultimate pettiness, and I love it. Miss Chanel with all I of her know, Chanel expensive that. clothes on. <laughs> yeah. I come home two days early to this, bro. All in a drawer. We get married in two we supposed to get married in two weeks. Go there everywhere though. Babe, where you at? Where are you at home? What's, what's, this, what's this in your drawer? What's in my drawer? Bro, quit playing me like you. I'm not stupid, bro. What's up? What, what, what are we doing? Why are you popping up straight early? Like, why are you home? But what you mean you popping up? Saturday. I live here, bro. We get married in two weeks. What you, you mean popping up? Off Saturday, so why are you doing it don't matter when I'm supposed to get off, bro. I'm oh my god, bro. You, bro, you, I'm about to go crazy. I'm really about to go crazy right now, bro. Where you at? The fact that the response is, "Why are you home early?" Like, I can't. I don't even have much to say about that, bro. Didn't matter in front of your daughter. You had sex with my wife, John. 
Had sex with your brother's wife? Yes? What's your phone number? No. You don't get to tell me what to do. You you can violate my wife. You can violate you can violate my my relationship, my marital contract, but you don't get to tell me what to do, dude. Again, I feel I don't know. I don't know. What to, I don't know if to be more mad at my brother, or my wife, both equally. I would equally cut everybody off. I would never speak to either of them ever again. To me, they would have died, and they would have never existed in my life. They would never be a thought. Like I would not know they exist. To be honest with you, that's how I get down. Yeah. I get a DM from this girl saying that her best friend's boyfriend always flirts with other girls. So she gave me his Instagram and obviously I DM'd him. Okay. If I had a dollar for every time I thought about you, I'd have one dollar because you never leave my mind. Bro, what? I don't know you, lol. I just thought you were super cute, so I had to DM you. Oh, and this is where things go downhill. Going. Oh, thanks. Do you have Snap? It would be better if we talked on there. So I gave him this fake Snapchat, obviously. And I said, you don't have a girl though, right? And he says, nah, are you going to uh -huh. add me back? I want to see more of you. If you don't have a girl, who's the one in all your pics? She's just a friend, I swear. They were getting a little too close just to be friends, so I had to let him know you did not pass the vibe check. Oh, God. God. Uh, to go to such lengths as to get someone to trap your significant other in a lie, proving that they're cheating, can't you just confront them yourself? <gasps> Our neighbor has been cheating on his wife. Oh man, this looks like it's straight out of the movie. It says, When can I see you again? Kissy face. Who's Linda, John? Who is Linda? Who's Linda? Oh my god, this dude. People ganging up on him. But who's Linda? That's what I want to know. That looks like it's straight out of a movie. I've never seen somebody really chucking someone else's stuff out a window and yelling about them cheating. Like I feel like I've only ever seen that on TV and in movies. That almost looks staged, but like I feel like it isn't. So I went on a date with my best friend and my boyfriend thinking it would be so fun and she decided at the end of the date to get his snapchat and I asked her why and she said because he's hot and I said okay but he's mine so back off and she decided to go on a secret date with him without letting me know and I slid up on her story saying who is that and she said it was a secret and I knew it was him so she lied to me after the fact I asked her to tell me the truth and then a couple days after that by the way that was on my birthday and a couple oh. days after that she decided not to listen to me when I said stop hanging out with him and went on an actual date with him at his house with his shirt off without no parents and you know where that goes and you know me being me and accepting everybody even after they fail in life and treat me like poo I still accept people so who's the clown now oh my god oh that story is so painful and it happened on your birthday be gone from me you soy boy beta cock part of me wants to be like you know you should have just cut them out of your life as soon as that first red flag was there because like you know that you know you're just gonna end up getting hurt and it's just gonna end badly okay. <laughs> it is what it is it is what it is but i also understand the whole like wanting to see the best in people thing like you don't really want to let these people go you want to have faith that they'll do the right thing i really hope she's doing a lot better and has found someone so much better now because geez Okay, this is gonna sound really weird, but I just followed my boyfriend to TJ Maxx because I wanna prank him. And oh, no. I was checking his location and I was like, oh, where is he going? Because we're supposed to be meeting in 30 minutes for like Valentine's Day. Oh, and God. I think he's getting my gift because he forgot or something, but I'm literally getting to, going to scare him. Like I'm gonna get in his car and scare him. Oh, no. His car doesn't lock right now because his key's broken, but he's getting it fixed tomorrow. So like, that's how oh, I can get the it. The faith that she yes, has. Yes, he does have a 2020 Rubicon. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Which, how are you coming? From 
probably later. I'm like really busy tonight. I mean, like I just have to teach MX. I, I have to grab a few things, but yeah, probably around like 11. Probably. Um, yeah, I. Who's the I really Who the f are you? <gasps> oh my god! The heart attack that that guy must have had in that very moment. I don't even want to defend him because cheaters suck. But like, oh my god, imagine just going about your day, you know, planning to cheat on your significant other just to find out that your significant other has been sitting in the back seat of your car listening to the whole thing. Like, geez, wow, you really can't make that stuff up. Never have I ever <laughs> hooked up with two guys the same night. Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have one. Never have I ever texted my ex-boyfriend while drunk. Um, you guys are lying. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever slept with my best friend's boyfriend. You told her? I didn't mean to. I just uh, I, I, saw, I didn't know what was gonna happen. You didn't know what oh. was gonna happen. Anything. I didn't oh. know. Oh, so wait, I'm don't, don't call me. her that. Oh, so you're defending her now? Yes, I am defending her. Don't oh, call her that. Oh, get the f*** out, both of you. Stop. Get out of my I house. Really... Oh, God. I saw this coming from a mile away. It's always like the put a finger down challenge. <laughs> I cheated on your... What? Like... That's not a healthy way of confronting your problems. <laughs> what is the put a finger down challenge really for? Because apparently right now it's for confronting people for being unfaithful. Jeez. Guys. Find a better way. <laughs> Followed my girl's location to this restaurant right now, and I'm pretty sure she's inside cheating. She hasn't told me where she was all day, and let's just go in and you find out. Pain. Hello? Who are you here with? What are you doing? Whose mask and hoodie is that? Who are you here with? Where is he? Where is he? Where are you going? Where is he? What do you mean you're not doing this? All right, I'm gonna sit here and wait for him then, and we'll see what happens. Oh, no, what are you waiting. doing? Yes, we are gonna wait for him. What are you doing? Why? What's the problem? I'm not doing this. All right, whatever. Part of me wants to think this is real, but part of me also thinks that this is like incredibly staged. I feel like there's just really bad acting going on. I want to be like, oh yes, they caught this person cheating and they're gonna get their revenge, ha ha ha. But part of me is also like, they went to a restaurant. No one else was there. There's no food on the table. I don't know, I feel like they did this one for like the TikTok views, not so much because it was actually happening. <laughs> I thought my girlfriend was cheating on me for a while now. So, so I got this hidden, hidden camera, camera online. I left the house and literally parked down the street to try and catch her. I recorded the live stream on my phone until this happened. What was that? Who TF is that? And of you course, have got to be kidding me. Framed in the no. complete waste of six plus years of my life. Thanks, Ashley. God, oh God, it's so fake. <laughs> it's so fake. Even if that was real, what compelled you to a buy the hidden camera and then set it up and then set up a whole scene where you leave because you know that this person's gonna come in with their whatever side person and uh, sorry guys I thought her dad she gets him up for it she gets up I thought my parents were happy I think he's a good one you're gone I'm ready let's look at him I really hope this is real I think he's texting he looks like he's texting he looks like he's texting Because there's no way that these people would not notice this person and be like, oh, zoom in. Oh. He's lying to me. They're on a date. I'm busy. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, she's touching his face. Okay. Yeah, that has to be. Nobody, nobody touches it. Like, what? Here, let me touch your face real quick. Huh? Maybe love is just dead and I just, I, I've never experienced that, but, huh? I don't know what this is, but it's kind of hot. They had me the first half, not gonna lie. 
I really thought, I was like, oh my god, I really hope this is fake, like, you know, but no, it got faker as time went on. Oh, hell no. Oh, no. It's All the right, eyelash. Alright, guys, just about to get in the car, and I'm gonna ask him why this girl's eyelash that's not mine was on my chair. Let's see what happens. Oh, man. Are you ready? There's something you need to tell me. What? Is there something pockets? you need to tell me? Look! What? Whose eyelash is this? I don't know whose that is. Ryan, unless you're doing drag behind my back, you need to what? tell me who you're cheating on me. Man. I don't know whose that is. It's that one of your friends from the Wink app. No! That's an app to make friends. I just have friends on there. So that's her. <laughs> this is your friend. I promise, I promise, I promise. Let me see your phone. <laughs> we left. <laughs> Let me see your phone. Mm, actually, there is something I need to tell you. <laughs> It's the lash for me. <laughs> no, imagine he really was doing drag behind her back. Error. Error. Boys don't do drag. Just go support him. Go support your man. Go on. Okay. Five <gasps> gifts gone wrong. Oh. Oh. Oh, are you crying? Why are oh. you crying? Why are you crying? <laughs> because you got me this and it's expensive. And I've been cheating on you with your best friend. What? Oh my god! Bro! She's gonna eat that PlayStation away from you so fast! Now that PS5 is gonna be stuck in a custody battle. <laughs> That's probably really fake too, but I'm just looking at the PS5 like. <laughs> Follow you! What you oh. do? Take off my mother shoes! Take off my shoes! I bought the for your birthday! Take them off! Oh my god, now I know this one is not staged. It just has the vibe. It's not staged because they're having a public dispute and somebody else has stepped in being like, hey, you gotta stop, you gotta get out of my store. And this is in Walmart. Weird stuff happens in Walmart, but it's never staged because it's Walmart. Fight Club, that's what it is. My long-term boyfriend and I broke up after he cheated on me. To make things worse, he kept acting like he still wanted to be with me, basically playing with my heart even more. He was terrible and I was furious, so I shredded his passport. If he wasn't going anywhere with me, he wasn't going anywhere. Period. That's savage. The beginning I was feeling really bad for this person, but don't shred someone's passport. That would be so annoying. Getting your passport renewed sucks. I mean, in the grand scheme of things that are bad, it's not that bad, but it's still an inconvenience. I'll at least say that. My boyfriend of nearly 10 years cheated on me. I moved out, but went back 10 days later to collect the rest of my things while he was at work. I realized he'd already moved his new woman in as her stuff was all over my house, her clothes on my wardrobe, etc. What I did was I cleaned the toilet with their toothbrushes and then put them back in the cup for them to use that evening. Ew! That is next level evil trickery. Tastes like shit. Actual shit. Like, don't get me wrong, that would be a terrible experience. That would be heartbreaking. But that's so gross. I thought that kind of stuff only happened in movies, but apparently people really are out there doing it, <laughs> living their own movie life. I know a girl who faked to her ex, who happened to cheat, that she wanted him back and made him a romantic dinner. She peed in the water she boiled his pasta in, then when he went to kiss her, she told him. He threatened to attack her and even went as far as lifting up some furniture, so she also got him arrested and charged. When he told the police about her peeing in the pasta, she managed to get the police to think he was a deranged psycho. What a woman! This took a lot of twists and turns. Okay, ew, peed in the water she boiled his pasta in, gross. But I'm wondering if boiling it, <laughs> is that dumb? But like, I'm not saying it would like be nice and good and like I would wanna drink boiled pee, but it would be better than unboiled pee, right? <laughs> but it's a legitimate question. But is it though? 
It would be better, right? Not great, but it would be better. I don't know. And don't attack people. My ex and I were together for two years before I found out how much of a liar and cheater he was. So I decided to get revenge in a way he would really feel it. After we broke up, I decided to sleep with his brother. He doesn't know yet, but I'm hoping he'll find out when the timing is just right. What? That's crazy. Because now you are being a betrayer to your ex, cause that's rude. Regardless of the lying and cheating he did to you, it's still rude. But now his brother is also a betrayer? Is there a word for a betrayer? <laughs> Doctor, fornicator. Cause I don't think that that's a word. Maybe it is, if it is, mm -mm -mm, you know me, just a walking dictionary. <laughs> Two wrongs don't make a right. One doesn't either, but Come on. My ex was sleeping with women he met on an online dating site. He filmed it and posted the videos on the internet. When made mistakes in the stories he was telling me to cover up what he was doing, I was able to find these videos and photos of him. I saved everything I could, found him on several other websites and presented it to him. He tried denying everything despite timestamps on the videos and photos. I gave him ultimatums, demanded the truth and when he continued to lie, I sent it all to his mother. Ew! That lady didn't deserve that. That lady did not deserve that, okay? I understand the point because like, then she'll get mad at him and then maybe it'll sink in or, you know, whatever. But, ew, no thank you. Again, sometimes you just gotta like, move on, you know? A friend of mine sought revenge on her husband by advertising a cheating, lying yard sale on website Craigslist. While he was was away with his floozy, she planned to sell all of his possessions like his favorite leather sofa and recliners and ultimately the house they shared. Whoa, that's the craziest yard sale I've ever seen. They're selling the whole lot. She also offered customers to view the remaining ashes of her ex-husband's clothes that she burned for no additional cost. All proceeds of the sale went towards their divorce. Yikes. Could, would you get in legal trouble for this? That's my question. <laughs> that like I was waiting for someone to respond to me in real life. <laughs> can you sell somebody else's, I don't feel like you can't sell somebody else's possessions. I feel like you can't sell a house if you both own it. Maybe she owned the house herself. I don't know. I need more context to know the legalities of the situation. I know a lot about the law and various other lawyerings. Um. A friend of mine who recently discovered her boyfriend, Tim, had been cheating on her, sought revenge in the most savage and explicit ways possible. Ooh, the tea. What did she do? Well, she posted a photo of herself on Facebook, a photo of her face, a face that had just been blasted by a fresh batch of an, I can't finish reading this. <laughs> I can't finish reading this, you guys. Uh, on Facebook? I'm not saying that she's the one in the wrong. I'm just saying the bravery, the audacity. To post that on the internet? Aunt Linda got a surprise that day. This one was wild, oh my God. My ex-wife was a Jehovah's Witness and she basically cheated on me with her relative. I feel like we could end there and I would be like, yeah, that's enough. I had the choice to break up with her and hide the truth from her family, but decided to make it public. She got excommunicated and her family doesn't talk to her. I don't regret it because I feel like I've done her a favor. Clearly she didn't want to be a Jehovah's Witness anymore. Double bonus, they stopped knocking on our door. <laughs> oh dang, that's wild. It's a little weird that she cheated on someone with her relative. <laughs> All right, that's a little weird. A little uncomfortable by that. I don't really know what you do in this situation. You know, I had the choice to break up with her and hide the truth or make it public. And at the end of the day, I feel like that really is your decision, right? Was it the wrong thing? What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments what you think that this person should have done. Did they do the right thing? Should they have kept it hidden? I don't know. I don't feel like they should have, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. 
My ex cheated on me and dumped me for his mistress. Years later, they got married and had two kids, but we reconnected and had an affair. I convinced him to leave his wife for me, and he did. I dumped him as soon as the divorce was final. Horrible, I know. Now that I'm older, I feel pretty bad for doing that to the kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That ending is exactly how that should have gone. <laughs> Definitely like not her fault that um, he did those shady things in the beginning, but it definitely is her fault for doing the exact same thing, knowing how damaging that is, you know? Not to victim blame, I'm not victim blaming. Again, not her fault that that happened to her in the beginning, but you don't have a choice of what happens to you all the time, but you do have a choice of how you react. And this was maybe not the best reaction. After tattoo artist Ryan L. Fitzgerald found out that his girlfriend was cheating on him, he didn't say anything. Why? Because she wanted him to tattoo a scene from Narnia on her back. Instead of giving his girlfriend what she wanted though, Fitzgerald tattooed a pile of poo with flies buzzing around it. He was sued for $100,000. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense that he was sued for $100,000. Probably not the best idea, but I'm sure it felt real good after that tattoo was done. Why would you cheat on somebody who's about to give you a tattoo? Is my question. Just seems like you're asking for trouble. Seems like you're asking for a pile of poo with flies buzzing around it to be tattooed on your back. William Lindauer pleaded guilty to spray painting the words, my wife is a cheater on his Colorado home back in March, but the seriously not funny kicker, Lindauer allegedly set the house on fire afterward. <laughs> Thankfully, no one was hurt. Thankfully is right. Why would you spray paint a building only to immediately burn it down? Yeah, sorry, I didn't really think that through. <laughs> Cause at that point, no one's gonna see the spray paint. You know, that's not the only reason why you shouldn't burn down a building, but it's definitely up there in this specific situation. Payback. Some women have yard sales, other have ex-husband sales. After a Wisconsin woman divorced her husband, she advertised her sale around town and then threw a bunch of his stuff on her lawn and marked it free. As if that wasn't enough, she also slashed the tires on his car and spray painted the word cheater among other obscenities on it. Yikes. That was some real Carrie Underwood energy there. You know that song? She did all of those things, slashed the tires, spray painted it. She just had to dug the key, you know? Sing those lyrics if you know. My husband made me homeless for a woman he was having an affair with. I don't wanna go into details, but he made sure I had nowhere to live and had also been sleeping with her in our bed. One day when he was at work, I hired a rental van and a storage unit and emptied the entire apartment. I couldn't take the TV because he bought that before he met me, so I took all the cables from the back so he wouldn't be able to use it. That would be so annoying. If I ever like broke up with a partner I was living with, I would just take like the most annoying things possible, you know? Like that thing that goes in the toilet paper holder. You would have never checked that before I left. You wouldn't be like, make sh let me make sure the toilet paper holder thing is still there. Maybe all the doorknobs if I could, just to be annoying. <laughs> I actually haven't eaten all day, it's 11.30 and I still haven't eaten today. So I gotta film this video, then I'm gonna go eat some peppers all day. Cause my name's Pepper. I actually don't like peppers that much. I like hot stuff though. Like I'll be honest guys, I just filmed like I think two other centrals. I filmed a few videos for Vibe. This is like the fourth or fifth video in a row. I'm, I'm tired physically. Um, and I was like, I'll just bang them all out. Like some of this stuff is very heavy. And I just don't know. I'm laughing because I'm so uncomfortable. I don't know how else to react. Uh, number six, if it loads. Yeah, just spin around and around. Spin around and around and around. Okay, I don't think it's gonna load. Like that Bill Withers song, we'll go around in circles. We'll go around in circles. Like if you have a hunch, if you have a feeling that this person is cheating on you, like, confront them. And if they get mad and defensive, then that's a sign that maybe you two aren't meant to be together. Right? But I guarantee you, karma, karma got him, right? Don't even worry about it. Karma 
put his name down on, on the little list. It was like, ah, you're next. <laughs> Don't buy a hidden camera. Don't waste your money on them. Even if you are going to break up with them, you're still wasting your hard earned cash on this cheater. Don't do that. Just use your words you know talk it out and then just end it there you're done right just god and you don't need to film it for tiktok okay tiktok does not need to know about your relationship problems and you can't pull the wool over my eyes i'm not a sheep <laughs> kidding <laughs> walmart is fight club i learned that on tiktok <laughs> all right all right okay i was feeling bad for him but then he went to attack her you can't attack people you can't pee in people's pasta you just gotta leave him alone is it intro time <laughs> the pee really got me going that's crazy tim was not expecting that i'll tell you that for sure Got me. Yo, Chris, we should switch places. <laughs> Ooh, tattoo retribution. <laughs> that title really brings you in. William Lind Linder? Linder? How, how do you say that name? William Lindauer? Lindauer?